SMT Nation, we back. Folks, this is going to be a quick one. I'm not going to take too much of your time, only because I'm not even sure how many people this is going to impact. But I do think that there are probably some SMT Nation subscribers and viewers that possibly could subscribe to a T-Mobile MBNO. So if that is you, uh, it is quite possible that you may, may have been roped into the T-Mobile most recent data breach. Uh, it says here, according to this report at least, uh, and I'll go ahead and put this article, I'll link it for you guys. I've been getting notifications all day from people on Twitter, you know, and all that. that they're starting to see uh, emails and text messages going out to MVNOs of T-Mobile like Google Fi. And they're letting the customers know that there has been suspicious activity uh, due to the breach. Uh, the breach itself affected and impacted T-Mobile systems. Now, specifically, if I look at some of the elements from this article from Mike Dano, it indicates that Google Fi is warning customers that uh, data about their mobile service plan, SIM card serial number, and account status may have been accessed. But it does say that email addresses, social security numbers, and other personal identifiers are not involved. So that means no action required by you, the customer, at this time. I was going to say, you know, I recommend maybe reaching out to your uh, MVNO. You know, if you are impacted by this, just to double check, I don't think it could hurt. I mean, at the least is they could offer you some secure disclosures on what to do moving forward. But it doesn't look like there's anything for you to actually do. Uh, but, hey, T-Mobile data breaches, the gift that keeps on giving, uh, impacting Google Fi customers. Again, I don't know what this means for any of the other MVNOs, if they've been impacted in any way. I guess it's, it's possible because... It says here serial number and account status. That's going to be the connectivity between the MVNO and then the host, which is T-Mobile. So it's nice that it doesn't implicate your personal identity, but I guess there is potentially risk that could potentially be there with respect to your device. Maybe getting like SIM swapped or IMEI changed or something, but it looks like Google Fi, if there was uh, an issue, they've patched it. So that's good. So if you have some other MVNO, uh, of T-Mobile, then maybe reach out and double check to see if there's something you have to do or if there's some type of advice they can give you about how to maybe prevent anything moving forward. You don't want to take on any additional risk. So I'll link this in the description. You guys can read the article if you like. I hope this doesn't impact many of you. You know, it looks like Google Fi's got it under control, but it's a good to know uh, type of situation. Keep yourself in the know and informed. And if you appreciate that, then most definitely do me a solid and like and share this video. Help others let them know what's going on with the telco space and what's happening with all these breaches and hacks at T-Mobile. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. A uh, big shout out to my YouTube members and my patron supporters uh, for making content on this channel possible. Thank you all so very much. And to everybody for watching, thank you. We shall see you all in the next video. Peace.